So Jane, could you tell me a little bit about how you came to meet members of the church here? I was um, at a Macmillan coffee morning down at the Who Library and I bumped into uh, Fleur and Hannah and I started talking to them and they started telling me about um, the things that they did within the community and the church and I mentioned that I used to go to church and asked if I could come so I went along to the Jasper Centre on the Sunday and as soon as I walked in I thought I've been here before and it turns out that it's the same place as I used to go to when I was in my early teens and I used to go to Covenanters there. Yeah and on the very very first time that I was there I felt God, I felt God's presence. I started crying and I didn't know why. It was really really strange but it was an amazing feeling and I think I've been every single week since. So now you've been coming about 18 months. 18 months. 18 months. Uh, could you tell me how you found attending the missional community meeting over in Who? We do a missional community every other Thursday and we call it the living room um, where we meet up and we pray and we study a piece of Bible text and then discuss it and how it, what it means and how we can incorporate it in our lives. Um, we also do um, social events at the weekends. Maybe we meet up around someone's house for breakfast or we have barbecues. Um, we did a, um, it was a barbecue in the park where we had a games day and we had beef burgers and soft drinks, cakes and it was for everybody within the, the whole of the Who community if they wanted to join us and that they were welcome. Um, that was a fantastic day. Um, we've also done fish and chips around people's houses in an evening on a Friday, um, that's always good. And um, um, we have fireworks of, in November around um, Heather's house. So yes, it's been uh, quite eventful and enjoyable as well. And can you say how you found attending uh, Cornerstone at the college here? The first week I came, um, went to Cornerstone, we went to the Jasper Centre. But I don't know what the reason was then, but the, all the meetings since then have been at the, the, the college here. And it's, it's amazing the amount of people that were here when I first started and how it's grown. There's just so many more people now and everybody has been so, so friendly. And I just feel that I belong here now. Whereas before, when I, when I first came to the Medway House, I didn't know anybody. I felt so empty and alone. And yet now I've, I know so many people and it's just amazing because I feel as if I'm part of a family here. And I haven't felt that for a long, long time. It's been amazing. What happened to make you feel ready to accept Jesus into your heart? I felt ready to accept Jesus into my heart um, when I felt the belonging within the church and how um, when I prayed of the night, I could, I could have a conversation with Jesus. Um, at first I thought it was my imagination and then I thought well, these words are, are sort of um, justifying what I'm thinking. I'll be praying for something and he'd be reminding, well actually I am answering your prayer you, and telling me about um, circumstances where he has answered prayer. Um, and it, the Lord has changed my life so much and I just felt that I had to give my life to Christ because he had given his life for me. Since I've had Jesus in my life, my life has changed so much. Um, before I was unemployed, I was depressed, I didn't know anybody. Now I'm in employment, it might only be temporary but it's employment. I feel as if I, I've got my self esteem back which I didn't have before. I have felt as if I'd never ever work again. And I pray to God and I've asked Jesus for for healing and I've got a spinal problem and since I've um, been asking for prayer and people have prayed for me I have such a low pain every day now that I can almost forget it's there. I have the odd days but that's normally because I've done something silly that I shouldn't have done. Um, so having God in my life has given me the strength and there's um, a verse I can't remember the, where it comes from off the top of my head, but 
I can do all things in Christ, for he gives me strength. And when I feel that I can't cope, I just say that. And I think, I can do this. I can do this. And I can. It's just the, the conversations that uh, I have up in my room, my, my sanctuary, um, it's like having somebody in the room with you and I'm just chatting away and these words are just coming and it's, it is just like having someone else in the room with you. It's amazing. My so, relationship with Jesus is very real, yeah. very, very real. I joined a DNA group with Kathy Tomlin, Michelle Turner and Hannah Perry. Um, we meet up every other Thursday at half past five um, after work. Um, we discuss things that we've done during the week and how God has been in our lives, how he's affected us. Um, um, we pray and chat about all sorts of things, anything and everything that comes up, we talk about it. Um, we recently met up in um, the Costa, Costa Coffee, bought one cup of coffee and we were there for two hours because mm -hmm. we were so in-depth in what we were talking, welcoming um, Hannah into our group. And yes, I found it very rewarding because it's somebody who's a little more closer than being within the whole of the church. It's like a, a smaller family unit um, that you can talk about things that are worrying you or um, things that have happened to you that you wouldn't necessarily discuss with other people. So yeah, it's been really rewarding and I recommend that any, everybody has a DNA partner, definitely. How was the baptism experience for you? On the 19th of April, um, last year I was baptised. Jane, have you repented of your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? Yes, I have. Then we gladly baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Jim and Bernard prayed for me and baptised me and when I came back up out of the water I just felt amazing. I felt as if I was like a feather, light. It was just a, a feeling that you just can't describe inside, you just felt so free um, and that hasn't gone away, that's still with me, that is still with me and um, yeah, it's the best thing I ever did. Oh no, you never let go